Welcome back. I'm back. You're back. Hey, we back. Welcome everyone to the episode on the Ultimate Sports TV. Guys, the 2021 NFL Draft is officially over. It was a blast, but now let's get to some 2021 NFL Draft grades, guys. So in each video, I'll be doing it by division. And in this video, I'll be draft grading all the teams in the NFC West, guys. But before I get to NFL draft grading, please make sure you subscribe to the Ultimate Sports TV. Because if you're not subscribed, you're missing out on so much, people. This is the hot spot. Get lots and lots of time from the Ultimate Sports TV spot with NBA and NFL content. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and join the TOS TV squad. Then when you're done with that, please like this video for me. Share this video and YouTube channel. Then comment down below your NFC West for all the teams Give their draft grades in the comment section below, guys. But now let's get to draft grading all the teams in the NFC West. All right, people, here are my NFC West NFL draft grades. For the 49s, I gave them a B plus. The Seahawks, I gave them a D. The Cardinals, I gave them a C plus. And for the Rams, I gave them a C. I just did not really like the drafts for all the teams in the NFC West unless you're the 49ers. And that's what we're going to start breaking down. Let's break down the San Francisco 49ers picks. And we all know with their first pick, they went Trey Lance. And I love this pick. Although I love Justin Fields as a prospect, I just feel like Trey Lance is the better fit over Mac Jones. Jones and Justin Fields. You can sit a year or two behind Jimmy Garoppolo and learn, knowing he's a raw talent, knowing he still has some fundamental stuff to learn, but he is, has such a complete game, and he fits the San Francisco 49ers system. You can use his mobility to an extent to make your offense better. He can expand your playbook with his terrific arm and his good accuracy, guys. It's incredible. I love Trey Lance as a talent, and I like the pick that the 49ers made here. It just makes sense since you want to have a guy sit behind Jimmy Garoppolo for a year and I love the talent of Trey Lance here and how he fits the San Francisco 49ers system and how he, he can maximize what they can do in as, as an offense and maximize their playbook. Then they picked Aaron Banks for an offensive line pick in the second round guys and I like that pick. You add to an offensive line that did lose some pieces this offseason. Trey Sermon was their third pick overall in the draft and I really like that pick too. It adds to the room and they really like to be a running back by committee kind of room and I think Trey Sermon is going to be good. Now the rest of their picks I'm not too much of a fan of all of them but I do like the Ambry Thomas pick. Uh, there's enough good picks that impact their team a lot for me to give them a B plus. I wasn't going to give them a an A minus or an A plus but I did like their draft enough to be generous and give them a B plus now the Seahawks I did not like their draft and take it with a grain of salt they did only have three picks overall but they still didn't do what they needed to with those three picks they picked a wide receiver and Dwayne uh Eskridge um excuse me if I'm pronouncing his last name wrong but they don't need a wide receiver they picked Trey Brown I mean the corner need is there but their last pick overall in the draft was for an offensive tackle when you're in the second round you gotta could have gotten a better tackle but you pick a wide receiver you need to protect russell wilson you go to get a wide receiver when you have enough that just doesn't sit well with me you should have picked an offensive lineman first you should have picked somebody on defense second wide receiver shouldn't have been your first or second pick and maybe they love the guy at wide receiver but they have enough wide receivers to serve them right now they need to be focusing on fixing that atrocious defense that it was from last year and getting russell wilson help on the offensive line i just did not like the seahawks draft and how they approached what they needed on their team and how they really organized themselves in the draft with value picks now the cardinals i gave them a c plus i'm not one uh, just one person who didn't like their draft a lot of people did not like the Cardinals draft now I disagree a lot like the, a lot of their picks just made me go why their first pick in the draft was Zayvon Collins I did not like that pick when uh, Jeremiah Wusukora Moro is on the board when Jamin Davis is on the board when Christian Barrymore is on the board you don't go with a better project than Zayvon Collins he's going to be a pretty nice player but he's not going to be better than any of the players that I just named they were better players on the board and I think that was a terrible spot for Zayvon Collins to go don't try too hard to get the steal of the draft the steals of the draft will, will force you where they may 16 is too early to take Zayvon Collins and then round two they take a wide receiver and Rondell Moore I think Rondell Moore is going to be a good player 
but the Cardinals don't need them. What the Cardinals need is defensive line pieces. What the Cardinals need is pieces in the secondary. What the Cardinals need is offensive line pieces. And in their first three picks, they picked three players that they do not need on the roster. Or one player in Zevin Collins that they could have picked a better player instead of him. So I don't like how the Cardinals approach the draft was. They should have picked a defensive lineman or an offensive lineman or somebody in that secondary. The, when they picked a defensive end, it was uh, this guy named Victor from Duke, Duke, and they picked Tay Gowan from UCF. Now, I like Tay Gowan, but you could have picked a better corner like Greg Newsom or Caleb Farley at 16. They picked a player that they did not need in the top three picks for them in this NFL draft. Now, for the Rams, I didn't really like their draft either. They get a C. Now, it was solid. I think it was a mediocre draft. But I didn't really like their draft either. They went ahead and picked 2-2 Atwell. I know you lost Josh Reynolds, but you still have Van Jefferson. You don't need 2-2 Atwell. You can use him as a gadget piece, but you don't need 2-2 Atwell. Then they picked Ernest Jones. I think he's going to be a solid linebacker in the league. I don't think he's going to be a world beater. And I just do not like the rest of their picks in this draft, guys. I, I really did not like the NFC West draft. Other than the 49ers, the Seahawks, Cardinals, and Rams picks really just consisted of players they didn't really need. And when you look at the Seahawks and Cardinals that need defensive line help, need offensive line help, don't need wide receiver help, but chose to go get a wide receiver with their first pick in the draft, that is just not acceptable. You need to go get players you need if you're still trying to contend. And in the Seahawks case, if you want to keep Russell Wilson happy, go get an offensive line. But that's my overview of the NFC West draft grades, guys. Give your overview of it all in the comment section below, guys. This is Malik Kicks, a.k.a. The Ranker, the Ultimate Sports TV, signing off. Peace out, and I'll see you in my next one.